Welcome back, and what we're looking at for our saw right now is the teeth are completely done, bringing you guys close, and the teeth actually look really nice. They're all even. So today what we're going to be doing is setting the saw, because right now there's absolutely zero set, because if you guys remember, we took teeth all the way down to no teeth, and we're going to be using a couple setters. I don't have laying around right now. Well, let's get to it. All right, so here's what we're looking at for setters. And this one goes up to 10 points per inch all the way down to, let's see, it's one points per inch. And, well, I'm not gonna use pistol grip because I don't like the pistol grip because when you're using, say the saws right here, your hand rides right up to there. So you're hitting your fingers on the metal and it's just hard to work with. So I like this style. I don't remember what it's called, but you guys can get these for, well, I think it's buck at garage sales, or you can check them on eBay and they're a little bit more pricier, but this is what I'm using. All right, so right now it is currently on seven points per inch, if you guys can see that. So we're just gonna twist the knob and we're gonna rotate it right onto eight points per inch. Give a little bit of a squeeze, make sure it stays nice and square. We're just going to tighten it up. You're going to have to start releasing. Oh, come on, focus for me. You're going to have to start releasing your grip and keep on twisting and then double check. So it's good right now. So it plungers good and everything. It's all tight and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna grab my saw, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, keep it up about inch to two inches right here. You guys have seen me do this plenty of times, and we're gonna clamp it, and I'll bring you close, right there, and we're gonna go with the tooth that is facing away from us. And then we'll squeeze, it'll push it over. And then to the next tooth facing away. And we're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over. So if you guys are watching, I'm skipping every tooth and the reason I'm doing this is I don't want to have to come on this side and lose my track each time. So I'm just going to go on one side and then I'll switch over to the other side and I'll do the exact same thing. And this process honestly doesn't take long. It's the easiest process of all. Can't really screw up on it. If you push the wrong tooth you can always just push it the other way. Well, not always, because it might break the tooth, but still. This process should honestly only take about five, seven minutes. If it's a really fine tooth, like 12 points per inch, 15, I'd say 10 to maybe 15 max should never take more than that I'll just keep dragging you guys along I won't show you guys the entire process it, it'd be boring on camera alright so that's all I'm going to show you guys right there I can't express to you guys how important it is to have good lighting so right now, this is all my shop lights on, but what I'm gonna do is turn the light on my camera. It's a external light and makes everything better. So if you guys have a tripod and a light, you can do what I do and is set it up on the tripod and you'll have a good light source. Just throw 
the light on top of your bench with the tripod like I'm doing right now and it works great so highly highly recommend them and I'll put a link in the description if you guys want for the one I'm currently using it's actually super cheap I got the batteries for it so I can recharge because if I was to use just regular AA batteries well I'd be burning through them a lot it's it takes eight AA batteries and from my understanding it's oh I want to say three hours battery life so if you go with I'll even show you guys just give me a second the batteries I use it's this brand newer I'm probably butchering the name and it's not focusing for you guys yeah it's a great but it's just these batteries so I can put them in and just put a phone charger in and it charges it and it's smart so it'll turn off smart but supposedly it'll turn off when it's done charging but these batteries last me I think it's five hours if that's my luck so far so if you guys want go check the out and you don't need a good tripod with it Alright, so I just got done filing, or not filing, I just got done setting all of the teeth on the other side. So, what I'm going to do now, like I always do, is file the teeth again, just one stroke for each one, because if I was to show you guys, there's not that many teeth with little bumps on the top, little flat spots. Just making sure it won't squeak when I do it. So I took a little bit more time. So I'm gonna go grab my file and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just filing each tooth once. And what I wanna know is if you guys remember why I file each tooth one to two times after I set it, the saw. You guys can answer that in the comments because I want to see if you guys remember. But from here, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you on the next video, which we will be fixing up the handle and the blade of the saw. So, see you guys then. Alright, so I know. A lot of you want to see the saw, see if it actually worked. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it over here. Keep my tripod away though, so it doesn't get cut. And we're going to start off to file. Oh, here it goes. Squeaky. Blade needs to be restored. And I might, by myself, I might need to throw a little bit more set in, but let's try it again. Pretty good and it does it will do fine stuff all 
All right, so minimal tear out. And I was actually decently, I was pr pressing down quite a bit. So I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later.